I don't want to be a burden to my family, my friends, and especially myself. Hello, my name is Alexander. Um, I'm 20, reaching 21 in a few months, and uh, my condition is called osteogenesis imperfecta, also known as uh, brittle bones. I've had this since birth, um, and um, it's not the most convenient uh, medical condition. It causes a lot of problems. Uh, it makes uh, daily life very difficult sometimes because at the back of my head, it's very, the thought of like any time, anything I can do could break my bones. Um, that's, that's the whole gist of what my condition is and for the past 20, 20, 20 21 years, a little history or information that I know about this, about my condition is that I wouldn't say it's the most common, it's not the most rare either. My condition has, I would say, different levels, different tiers of the severity of my condition. Mine's luckily the very mild one, like the level one, it's like seven levels. So yeah, I'm very lucky to have that. This condition hinders my growth, so I'm naturally shorter than other people. It has impacted me mentally, especially. Because um, it made making friends, not say difficult, but when hanging out with people, all my friends are like a lot taller than me. And when, whenever they have to talk to me, they have to bend down and stuff like that. And I feel bad. Because sometimes when I say something, they have to be like, oh, what? And they have to bend down. And it, it, it made me feel very bad. But even then, when I brought it up to them, it's, um, they say it's, it's okay. They just like my company. Of course, when I was in primary school, the ch children aren't very mature, usually, and they call me names. But obviously back then, I was very annoyed. But now, when they call me something, I make a joke out of it and they just stop. So that's, that's how I like to cope with it. Now. It's, not, it's not me sweeping under the rock. Like I, it took me many years to accept my condition and I have found ways to um, make it part of my life. Uh. With not just my help, but with um, my family, friends, uh, they they have played a big part of um, of how I accept myself. I've accepted my condition for a few years now, but back when I was very young, not say it didn't impact me that much negatively, because I was a very positive kid. Uh, I was very carefree and stuff like that, which is good lah. I was never afraid of my condition. Don't get me wrong, I was afraid, but I wasn't afraid to try new things. I wasn't afraid to try sports. I wasn't afraid to do this and do that. Um, in fact, I was so adventurous that I wanted to do soccer. I wanted to play soccer. Not the striker, defender type. I wanted to be a goalkeeper, which in hindsight could be the most stupidest thing a person of my condition can do. Uh, fast forward to maybe secondary school life, I picked up canoeing or canoe sprint. I did that because I, in the past I had a nice history of swimming. Swimming is by far one of my favourite sports. It doesn't put too much impact of, on my body. I started canoeing I think secondary 1, secondary 2 and I, that went on for my whole secondary school life. And now in poly, I continued in year one, year two, and year three. My condition does not affect my future. It doesn't at all. In fact, back when I was still training with my team in canoe sprint, I actually expired to be one of the best in canoeing. I really did. Um, which is ironic because there is a lot of force and you have to carry the boat. And it, it, puts, it really does pull out stress on my body. But the fact that I did it for three, four, I think five years, it didn't stop me at all. The various accomplishments that I've had with this condition is I have won about one or two swimming competitions. For canoeing, I was accepted into the school team. I have participated in four consecutive marathon years. I have participated in quite a few competitions in canoe sprint and I've won a few. So even though this condition has hindered so much. 
I have at the same time achieved so much. As time went on, I found new passion and what I want to be, I want to be an entertainer. I like to entertain people, make them laugh, make them smile, make good content. That's, that's what I want to be actually. Yeah. So it doesn't have to do anything with my condition at all, which is good. Yeah, it's good. Overall, I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky because I have known, not known, but my doctor have told me about individuals who have, have it worse than me. Worse as in their condition is so bad, their bones are so brittle, where when the parents try to pick them up as a baby or as a toddler, the bones just shatter, which is very, very unfortunate. Like. It, it causes more problems for them. So I'm very lucky to be where I am, to have what I have. I'm just as normal, I'm just as capable as what as the other people are in this world. I am able to achieve the same things I can and I will. As a whole, I am I'm imperfectly perfect, just like the rest of you. Just a little tweak here and there.